We got 44 ambulances, 22 by law are supposed to be running. We got 17, 18 on any night because they're broken. Light rail. Detroit, which has seen its population cut in half since 1950, is home to an estimated 90,000 vacant houses. You can look at the empty buildings, the great architect, and you say, man, is this a waste? Next year, construction is scheduled to begin on a $500 million light rail line up Woodward Avenue that'll go from downtown Detroit to the edge of the suburbs. It's not a wacky Birkenstock idea. It's a real, you know, it's a real idea. Marie Donegan is a Michigan State representative from Royal Oak, a suburb of Detroit. What do you think will happen to those vacant warehouses when there's a really dynamic, a really dynamic public transportation system on Woodward? Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood was in town in July to pledge federal support for the project and to announce that the city of Detroit is on the move. Frequently called the most cosmopolitan city of the Midwest, Detroit today stands at the threshold of a bright new future. The inner city is becoming an exciting place to live. Convenient to shops, offices, and the most modern of schools have the opportunity to rebuild an entire urban center, which for me as a person with a master's degree in landscape architecture and regional planning, that is truly exciting. The applied skills of planners, idea men, organizers, builders, Detroiters who welcome and respond to challenges. If the light rail system would come on in 2016 as planned, they would be trains to nowhere. You simply cannot have a Manhattan without a subway. But it's not the subway that built Manhattan. Manhattan built the subway. Light rail is not going to build Detroit. We are at the proposed terminus of said light rail. Charlie LaDuff is a Pulitzer Prize winning reporter for the Detroit News. Who's getting out of the car, parking it here, leaving the car, and driving downtown? This is what it looks like during rush hour on Woodward. It's going to take a huge effort to educate the public about these, the system, whatever the system is that's going to be built, to educate them, to, to help them understand the value of public transportation. You know this, this light rail they're talking about from here to downtown? Five hundred million dollars. Is that the number one thing we need right now in Detroit? No. We can all drive our cars to go to the football game and to the basketball games and all that, or we can have other ways for people to get to the sports stadiums. We need better police. The schools need improving. Okay. Garbage pickup, the better ambulance service. If I have drink more than two, beer, then I'll, two beers, then I'll get on the street and I'll get arrested for drunk driving and ruin my life. People really don't want to do that anymore. We got a lot, lot of other things we could be spending that money on. So we have a limited pool of money, right? Is that what you're saying? Is we only, there's only so much money in the world ever. No, well, obviously that's not true. If we wanted to build a new, if that was the case, then if we wanted to build a new school in Royal Oak, for instance, we'd say, we cannot build another school in Royal Oak because, there's, because we only have so much money. Vonda, did anybody ask you for a light rail? Cool. What we find is that people like to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible. So the bus system, particularly in cities like Detroit, is going to be far more effective at serving the needs of the low income than developing a transit system. And the city of Detroit already has a light rail, the people mover. The people mover is a circulator within the downtown. Some people think of it as a joke. Others ride it all the time to get from Greek Town to the baseball game, you know, to the football game. A building fell on the tracks. There was no discernible impact on travel, and it was out of commission for months. It's nice to have it when you've got a festival and you've got a baseball game. But people moving downtown to be close to the people moving, 
Detroit has to recenter itself in the basics, low crime, low taxes, make it a business climate that supports investment in households. Once that vibrancy begins to come back, perhaps in the future, rail will make sense, but right now I don't see it. Let's have a true accounting of what the problem is here. Let's put the money in that, and then, God willing, build some cool rails, build some swimming pools, right? The city on the straits welcomes you to share that vision as it continues to plan, to build, and yes, to dream.